Greetings all, it's Max, and we're back. And I know I said, uh, it's not really my goal to go off and go and attack other people unless they're completely, completely off the rails. And it came to my attention uh, through Lies of the Devil. They put out some uh, new content, a uh, new documentary, and part of that was referring back to a playlist they have called Danger Zone. What we're going to watch here is a man who calls himself a pastor. Okay. And he has thousands and thousands of followers and a building and a congregation. And we're going to see, and using your own discernment, what you think about this so-called pastor. Perfect law, if we would continually eliminate, execute people that do see certain crimes, we would gradually get a much better society that people, not so many people, have this mean gene in them. So you mentioned uh, you mentioned murder, kidnapping. You mentioned uh, you know smiting or cursing your parents. What about where the Bible says that adulterers should be put to death, homosexuals, or those who commit bestiality and things like that? Absolutely, yes. That the government's job is to punish criminals and to execute those who've committed capital crimes. I believe what the Bible says that homosexuals should be executed. What do you think homosexuals should do then? Kill themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Not get because saved. Because they, you know. Not get saved? I mean, seriously. This is a person who, who calls themselves a pastor. All right. I understand. I don't agree with um, it's sodomy homosexuality, you want to call gay, whatever term you want to use. No, it's a sodomite. It's a bad thing. But there are plenty of those people out there who get saved. And then they get out of that lifestyle. This pastor here says, well, if you're gay, go shoot yourself. They're, they're horrible, wicked people. They're just going to keep molesting and, and, you know, destroying people. So I don't have any advice for homosexuals except to... You don't have any advice for homosexuals. Head. Hello, get saved. You see how wicked this man is and how just demonic the words that are coming out of his mouth is. Head so that... You don't molest my kids or anyone else's kids. Now, to me, LGBT stands for let God burn them. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Well, it's LGBTQ. Well, then you could say let God burn them quickly. Yeah. Or let, <laughs> let God burn them queers or whatever. There is a difference between these people and the rest of the population. Now, listen to me. Yeah, but you act like a faggot, okay? So, if it looks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. I didn't fed anyone, queer little sissy. Look at this guy. Does this look like the look of a pastor? Does this seriously look like a man who somebody would call a pastor? With a congregation. To me, it looks like he's going to hell. He's an unsaved Nazi. And, he, you know, I had did a video about him basically because he wants to replace... Uh, the body of Christ in the church age, he wants to replace the Jews. And he has a whole marching design video about how the Jews are evil. And that was what I, my old video was on that. But now there's this. I never even knew this existed. That people actually call take this man seriously? How do you take a person who speaks like this seriously? Now I use some bad language in some of my videos. It... it it just comes out. I get, I get ticked. But this this man is doing it over and over and over and over and over again. It's hate speech. And really, he's inciting his congregation violence against sodomites. Dude, you're too gay, man. I don't want to talk to you. No. Why would you call for the mass execution if you're supposed to love me? Because I believe the Bible and you don't. Is there a sin? Shut your faggoty mouth and 
well, I believe the Bible and you don't. So I believe what I believe and so therefore I'm right. And everybody else is wrong. A lot of these people out here, a lot of these cult leaders, that's exactly what it comes down to. They say, well, I just know the Bible better than you. Or I, I know the real truth and you don't. It's the same thing with talking about evolution and science, talking to a scientist. They're like, well, you're just not, you haven't been trained and you're just not smart enough to understand. It's the same thing. It's a cult. And this man here is not a pastor. He's a dirtbag. Let me talk to the guy that I'm talking to, okay? He's an absolute dirtbag. We're also going to look at um, Ken Hovind against is a eugenist, eugenicist promoting genocide. And, you know, here for a long time, I was on the page of the same thing as like, well, if you're a murderer, you should get killed. And according to the Bible, that's what should happen. But that's Old Testament. Okay. That's Old Testament stuff. New Testament in the church age, pretty easy to get saved. Pretty easy. Where am I going with that? I'm going to go to Jeffrey Dahmer. Probably the worst piece of garbage human being on the planet at the time that he was doing his stuff. Murdered like 20 people and ate them. And he got saved by Christ and talked about it in his interview. And he is legitimately saved. And of course, then, you know, some other inmate stabbed him to death, but eh, he was saved. The point being is that as long as you keep the person alive, they still have a chance to get saved. So I am no longer on the park, point, park, whatever, of just killing people you did some bad stuff okay we'll lock you up until you can you know you'll, we'll put you in the corner and put you in your room and lock you up so you can think and contemplate maybe you'll get saved why not gene some kind of something in the genetic code that makes animals vicious or mean i know the russians did experiments and are still doing it for over 50 years <clears throat> we're going to select for one trait only gentleness or tameness in the foxes they kept selecting out the tamest of each litter and after 50 years they had foxes that were just like dogs they come running up you can you know roll over you see the problem here is, is that animals don't have souls so, it has nothing to do with people. Ken Hovind thinks it does. That you're genetically predisposed to just be evil by some gene somewhere. Because my great-grandfather was evil, I have a good chance of being evil. That is the most retarded thing I've ever heard. One of them. There are a couple others, but that's going to be right, right up there. And you notice Steven Anderson is like yoked up to Kent Hovind, and they both have their little cults going. And we'll listen to Ken Hovind talk his thing. First scratch my belly. There are many things changed about these foxes. They only selected for tameness. I think the same thing would be true for viciousness. People can breed dogs to be vicious, like maybe pit bulls or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I think there is something in the genetic code that deals with the disposition toward uh, gentleness or meanness, and I think in God's perfect law, if we would continually eliminate, execute people that do see certain crimes, we oh, would gradually... Oh, how many people in the Bible would be gone? Okay. David would be gone. Um, the Apostle Paul would be gone. Okay. 
Paul was an assassin, killed the Christians. David killed his friend on the front lines to steal his wife and commit adultery. Um, how many others in the Bible? Messed up. And they should be killed? Have a calling? get a much better society that people not so many people have this mean gene in them so you mentioned uh you mentioned murder kidnapping you mentioned uh you know smiting or cursing your parents what about where the bible says that adulterers should be put to death homosexuals or those who commit bestiality and things like that absolutely yes however they kill them doesn't matter if they hang them Lethal injection, electric chair, gas chamber, firing squad, bury alive, chop their head off, burn them to death, crucifixion. There's all kinds of ways to kill people. Capital punishment is a wonderful thing for society. It has to be done. For so <laughs> Man. And I, I realize a lot of this is cut up. Um you could maybe take some of this out of context or something with Ken Hovind on here, but not with Steven Anderson. You saw the clips. That's exactly what he says. He's on the news radio or wherever he is broadcasting from where he's being interviewed, and you can just go on YouTube anywhere and see what he's saying. This idea of just killing people for whatever they've done. Um, that should have ended way back in the time of Moses, right? There's a thing going on there, and that was really just for the Jews. But now we have to kill everybody who messes up? I don't understand that. Lock them away and give them time to reflect, and hopefully people get saved. That's what I think about that. Certain crimes, you just have to execute them. You as an individual might forgive them, but society needs to kill that person for certain crimes for the good of society. Hitler thought that biological evolution was the best force to fight against traditional religion. One of the Jewish prisoners who survived the Holocaust said there's a difference between those who look upon their fellow human beings as common creatures of a common creator and those who look upon them as conglomerate of biologicals and chemicals. And millions and millions of people were killed because of Hitler's belief in evolution. Dumb, dumb idea. But you can't, 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 you, you just said, can't, you just said that there is an evil gene which has to do with evolution and genetics. And you're relating people to foxes. And that's just stupid. All right? It, it's just plain stupid. It's, it's stupid. And now you're yoked up to Steven Anderson. Now you're out of prison. And all this stuff comes out about you being kind of a huckster and a sly guy. And everybody already knew I think that the old Steven Anderson here was a dirtbag. I think everybody kind of already knew that. Um, it's amazing to me. This is on BBC, okay, a fairly reputable news network, where Mr. Steven Anderson is coming out and saying, all the faggots need to die, and they should put a bullet in their head, and he doesn't have any advice for them. And they call themselves pastors. And these are people with, oh, I don't know, 50,000 more subscribers than me, 100,000 more subscribers. I have no idea. But it, these are who people are watching. Wolves in sheep's clothing? Uh, I just look at them and see a wolf, but... Some people might be deceived. And I do have a thing on, on my channel um, 
where I have Steven Anderson's salvation message. I think I'm going to look it up and delete it because I thought it was an okay salvation message. But eh, I don't want anything on my channel with Steven Anderson to do with it. Nothing. Nothing. And just to, to back that up, this is only a minute video, so I'm just going to play it again. I think in God's perfect law, if we would continually eliminate, execute people that do see certain crimes, we would gradually get a much better society that people, not so many people, have this mean gene in them. So you mentioned, uh, you mentioned... And now, I'm just going to also say this, before this goes on, as he were, where he's talking about sodomites burning in hell, and that's where he wants them to go and all this stuff. It's like, well, Stephen Anderson wants them to go there for the same reason Satan wants us to go there. So he has somebody to talk to. Because that's where Stephen Anderson is headed with this rhetoric. And murder, kidnapping, you mentioned, uh, you know, smiting or cursing your parents. What about where the Bible says that adulterers should be put to death, homosexuals, or those who commit bestiality and things like that? Absolutely, yes. That the government's job is to punish criminals and to execute those who've committed capital crimes. I believe what the Bible says that homosexuals should be executed. What do you think homosexuals should do then? Kill themselves, as far as I'm concerned. Because they, you know, they're, they're horrible, wicked people. They're just going to keep molesting and, and, you know, destroying people. So I don't have any advice for homosexuals except to put a bullet in your own head so that you don't molest my kids or anyone else's kids. Now, to me, LGBT stands for let God burn them. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it's LGBTQ. Well, then you could say let God burn them quickly. Yeah. Or let, <laughs> let God burn them queers or whatever. There is a difference between these people and the rest of the population. Now listen to me. Yeah, but you act like a faggot, okay? So, if it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. I didn't find anyone, queer little sissy. Dude, you're too gay, man. I don't want to talk to you. No. Why would you call for the mass execution if you're supposed to love Because I believe the Bible and you don't. If there's a sin, shut your faggoty mouth and let me talk to the guy that I'm talking to, okay? <laughs> oh, that's a pastor. Well, that's a pastor, and once again, thanks, Theodore Lies the Devil, um, for finding those clips and putting them together and putting them up on your site. I uh, am at a loss for words a little bit with, um, <laughs> oh, man, the people that are out there that people follow. Um, you can do the YouTube search. Uh, I think he uses a V in his name. Stephen, yeah, S. Anderson, sixteen eleven, eighty three thousand. No, the Bible's really clear on salvation. Eighty three thousand people are listening to this all across the world. About yeah, it's good to kill gay people. You find out someone's gay, let's just go kill them. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 Christ like. Mm hmm. Marching to Zion. Replacement Theology Heretic. Um, as I said, my goal, you know, for what I'm doing is not to just poke and prod at people out there and saying, well, you, you messed up scripture here and this is how it really is. And no, it's, you know, if, if people are so far off the rails that they're obviously satanic, then I'm going to call them out. That is what I'm doing here. Calling out a satanic heretic who is going to hell. And he's going to burn. And there is no bringing him to Christ. Because he's very prideful. Um, really much believes in what he's trying to quote unquote teach and preach. And maybe someday, if God doesn't take him out, maybe he will come to the Lord. But for right now, man, this is the guy that needs to get um, burned quickly right now. You know, he's inciting 83,000 people to murder sodomites. Show me that in the Bible, Stephen Anderson. 
in the church age. Show me where God commands Christians to go murder people. Hmm? You know, and like I said, we'll go back to Jeff Dahmer. The best example of the worst human being on the planet at the time came to Christ. Maybe there's a reason why you don't murder those people anymore. Because we're in a different dispensation. I think with that, we're going to be out of here.